Hey guys and welcome to today's motivational and in my opinion Monday. So for today's video I'm going to be showing you entries in my diary that I've had since I was I think the fourth or third grade. The reason why I'm doing it today is because I highly suggest that you guys try writing in a diary, a journal, or just you know on sheets of paper. It's really therapeutic for some people, maybe it's not for you, but it really helps myself get my thoughts out on the paper and it helps me remember all the good and the bad times too and it's just nice looking back and reflecting on stuff. So let's get started! Here is the first entry, the 12th of October 2004. My day. Dear diary, today was a good day but I have learned my lesson. I will never copy other people's work again. And the rest of the day was great. We had ICT, library skills, Mandarin, and music. But one important thing about today is that I learned my lesson and that will always go on my record. I am very sad because I don't want that in my record because I'll always have to think about it. I am sorry, Sam. Okay, I remember this day clearly. Basically what happened was we were doing these like worksheets and stuff and there was like textbooks and we were all sitting in a group. And... I think what happened was I looked over at my friend's sheet just to like see what her answers were or whatever. It wasn't even a test, it was just like a worksheet and I told my parents about it and my dad got mad at me <laughs> and he said that it would go into my record, um, my like life record or something and I'm sure that he just wanted to like make me like not do it again but I believed that it was some real um, and I was like in deep trouble. This is the 20th of October 2004. Surprise! Okay, my day was okay until my dot dot dot. Can you guess? Well, my tooth came out, but I actually forced it out. MC, oh my god. <laughs> and now there's a bloody hole. You can see that my weirdness sprouted at an early age. And I did a cute little drawing of my tooth. Of me missing my tooth. Um, so for this entry, what? Did I not know how to? Why am I going backwards? Either I wrote the date wrong or I started to go backwards in my days or something. But yeah, this is the 17th of October 2004. Might have been November, I don't know. And this is the second day of camp. Okay, camp two. I went bike riding and now I really feel homesick. I had a fun day, Sam. The detail is just all there. But yeah, literally I was feeling really homesick and I cried at camp and my teacher had to console me and stuff. Okay, the next entry is kind of sad, but yeah, it was on 18th January 2005. Daddy died. He was only 68 and probably he died of a heart attack. He is cremated, burnt, and we will sprinkle the ashes over the harbor but keep some of it. We all miss him, but all of my friends but all of my family members and friends are helping us. We're going to be okay and we love him, Sam. Such, such a nice diary entry though, like, it's so centered, it's just the writing's nice. But the next one is when I moved to Macau, and this is the 22nd of, I think this is August 2005. Dear diary, did I tell you that we moved to Macau? Well now I did! We rented a flat in Helen Gardens, I think that's how you spell it. It's very pretty, just a bit smaller than Babington. The shipping will arrive on Wednesday. Everything is so confusing, but the people are quite nice, and our neighbor is the landlord and has three children. I think daddy is watching on us. Reading about the times that my teeth are about to come out, like fall out, makes me cringe. Like, ugh, because I remember one time I was sitting in the bathtub, and I think it was these two were like simultaneously about to come out and I went like this for some reason and like that like my fingers slipped because my mouth was slippery and yeah sure enough I pulled out my teeth and they dropped into the bathtub little streams of blood it was really weird I'm, oh. my next entry is on the 31st of August I think TIS dear diary this is my third day in TIS it is in Taipa and is 10 minutes away from the house I was a bit nervous, but I made some friends. Um, the next part, there is a boy I like. He is in the other class, but we talk after school. And then at the bottom, I wrote in capital letters, LOVE THIS SCHOOL! Talk to you tomorrow, Sam. <laughs> Yay! It's just, it brings back so many memories, because I graduated from TIS, and just looking back on my first day of school, just so heartwarming. Okay, this is when the East Asian Games happened. It was the 1st of November 2005. Dear Diary, I had a lot of fun today. I went with Miss Stella to the East Asian Games. 
First we went to the athletic one, then we went to the gymnastics one, and we brought snacks. Although I sneezed a lot, I got through it. Probably because I had my allergies that time. Always loved hanging out with Stella. She's my home girl. She's just family. So yeah, if you guys don't know, um, Stella, she has been with us since I was about seven. Um, and she's like kind of like our housekeeper, helper, I guess. She just, she lives with us. And I don't normally tell people this, I like when I first meet them, because I don't want them to think that I'm spoiled or like rich or whatever or like bragging about what I have so half the time I don't tell them about it because she's really turned into family and she's so close to us and she was there when my dad passed away and stuff and she's just always has been there and she's helped so much that she's just family now and you know some people just don't understand that right off the bat so I don't always tell them that until they get to know me. You can just see the positivity shining through in some of my entries. It's so nice. I started so young. Wow, September 13th, 2012. Dear Diary, wow, it's been about six years since I've written in here. I graduated high school this year and I just read the page where it's been my first day at TIS. Ooh. So in grade 10, Carlos and I finally dated, but it was only for a month. He was my first kiss and everything and it was so cute. I lost a lot of weight in grade 10, mainly because I wasn't hungry for a good portion of lunch or the day and yeah so I did lose a lot of weight then near the end of grade 11 to the start of grade 12 me and Carlos became better with each other and things weren't as awkward as before in grade 12 I actually ended up going to graduation with him except he had to drive home to change I walked up with my other friend Dick um, I bought Carlos his tie it was blue since my hair was blue <laughs> And I got accepted into FITM in Los Angeles, and I'm honestly so excited to be going to Los Angeles. It's like my dream city. I really want to audition for X Factor. <laughs> Damn, work! It's nice to look back on the entries and just kind of reminisce. So yeah, those are some of my diary entries. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you like it, then I'll read you some more because there's a ton of more entries. So I highly encourage you guys to keep a journal or diary or just keep track of stuff that you've achieved and done. Yeah, it's really fun, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay positive, stay strong. Bye! By the way, guys, the crop top halter thing that I'm wearing today is also from Forever 21. It is so comfortable and just it's so nice and I love it. So, so far my purchases have been pretty good.